The news of people contracting COVID-19 or even dying in spite of being vaccinated may in some circles be contributing to vaccine hesitancy and increasing the number of people choosing not to get the shot. We're trying to talk about what impact that might have as we try to work back to normal. Dr. Ernst von Schwartz joins us this morning to talk more about this and some things we need to know before and after getting vaccinated. Doctor, thanks so much for taking the time. Thank you for having me on. Good morning. Uh, we, we know how important it is to get this vaccine and, and the vast majority of information we've gotten as people are getting vaccines about how, how effective the vaccines are. But what, what are the things you want people to know? Well, of course, people are a little confused right now because there have been reports uh, just two days ago a fashion icon died uh, more than two weeks after he got vaccinated. He died of COVID. Then the Argentinian president got COVID despite being vaccinated. So, of course, people are confused about this and don't know how effective this is. So what people need to know is a couple of things. Number one is there is no such thing as a 100% percent protection we know that on the other hand the vaccines which are available right now have shown a 60 to 95 percent protection against the development of severe disease hospitalization and death and that's our goal of course and then those cases which uh, develop what we call breakthrough infections despite getting the vaccine are so small according to the initial Pfizer study 0.48 percent of people who get the vaccine get in a breakthrough infection. Some data from India showed it's less than 0.1% even. So some people can get it, but nothing is worse than getting COVID. So getting the vaccine, the potential side effects or risks or ineffectivity is much lower than the risk of getting COVID with the potential of having a severe bad outcome. Yeah, right. And, and if you were to still get sick after getting the vaccine, the odds that you'd get a very severe case are so much lower than they otherwise would be. That's correct. I mean, 95 percent of people have COVID to cure it out quickly. Some have some lingering symptoms for s several months, but it's nothing life threatening. There's a small proportion, of course, who might end up with severe disease, hospitalization, ventilator necessity and even death. I want to kind of just jump around here a little bit. I know you've talked about some of the cases you mentioned, people who got sick with COVID after they received the vaccine, but uh, you're saying that that doesn't necessarily mean they weren't infected before they got the shot. We don't know the timeline in some of these cases. Yeah, in fact, uh, some people might have had contracted the virus even before they reached immunity through the vaccines. Keep in mind, there is, of course, uh, a latent period of at least 14 days sometimes before symptoms occur. So that might be one of the reasons why some people do get infected after vaccine. Of course, there's always the idea of uh, getting mutations, variants of the virus, which uh, the vaccines might not be effective against. However, the currently known uh, variants, the mutations, uh, has been shown that the vaccines are effective against those, but only time can tell what's going to develop in the near future. Yeah, well, you can't predict the future, but like you said, that's such an encouraging development to, to see that these, as these mutations and variants come up, these vaccines are still doing well. I, I would imagine, the bottom line, no matter what anecdotal stories you hear from somebody or on some outlet, the, the bottom line is we need everyone to get these vaccines as soon as possible. Completely agree. I mean, the only way, the only way to eliminate the disease is uh, by vaccinations. The only way to uh, prevent that we get sick is by getting the vaccination and, uh, of course, keeping social distance measures at least in part intact until we are vaccinated. Absolutely. Very good advice, Dr. Ernst von Schwartz. We really appreciate your time. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me on.